In this video, we're going to look at finding the median and quartiles from discrete data. Before I start, I think it's important to stress that this particular topic can be done a number of different ways. We're going to simply look at one of those ways. We're going to start off with an even number of data items and locate the median, the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So let's have now an even number of data items and let's take eight of them. So those eight might be two, let's have four, let's have five, six, and then we could have eight, we could have 10, we could have 11, and we could have 12. So we can see now that we've got eight date items. If we consider the lower quartile, which we call Q1, 25% of observations will be below that value. If we now take Q2, which is a median, 50%. And then the upper quartile, or Q3, 75% of data observations fall below the upper quartile. One particular approach that we could do to find the median is take now the eight items and divide by two. So the median now is simply saying we want the middle value. So I'm going to take eight and I'm going to divide it by two. If I do eight divided by two, I get four. Four is an integer value. In this particular case, we locate the fourth data item. We then consider now halfway between the fourth and the fifth data item. So if we look at that, the fourth one is six, the fifth one is eight. So we now find the median of the two, or we locate now halfway between. If you like, you need the 4.5 term. So what we're doing then is simply adding the 6 and the 8 together and dividing by 2. Or if you like, finding the number in between. So what we can say then, the median is going to be equal to 7. If I have an integer value, I locate this particular term, which is a fourth term. I then go halfway between the fourth and the fifth. So if it's an integer n, we have n and n plus 1, and then simply now find halfway between. Let's now look at the lower quartile. The lower quartile, or if we like, Q1, is going to be one quarter of the way in to the data set. So what we're going to have then is one quarter of eight. So we'll have eight over four. Again, I get an integer value. When I get an integer value, I find the second term and I then look for halfway between the second and the third term. Here is the second term and here is the third term. So I need to go halfway between the two. So we can say now that Q1, the lower quartile, is going to be 4.5. If we now consider the upper quartile, or Q3, we've got upper quartile, which we can write as Q3. This is going to be three quarters of a way into the data set. So what we want then is three quarters of eight. So if I have three quarters of eight, that is six. I locate the six value and then consider now the median of the 6 and the 7th. So here's the 6, the 6 is 10, the 7th is 11, so I'm going halfway between. So we could say now that Q3, the upper quartile, is going to be on here. We've got 10 and 11, so it's going to be 10.5. So that's what we have, 10.5. And this is one way that it can be done. So from here, we can see now that we have the Q1, which is going to be our value just here of 4.5. We've got now Q3, which is our upper quartile, which is 10.5. So if I wanted to find the interquartile range, I would simply do Q3 minus Q1. So IQR, interquartile range, is now going to be Q3 minus Q1, which is going to give me 10.5 minus 4.5 and that's going to give six. So all we've done is essentially split this up. So if you like, let's go ahead and show that. We've come down here, we've come down here, and then we've come down here. So we can see now that a quarter are going to be below, half are going to be below, and three quarters are going to be below these lines right here. So this is Q1, this one is Q2, or the median, and this one is Q3. So if we now divide n, where n is the number of data items, by 2, and we end up with an integer value, we take now the median of that value and the corresponding term. So there we go. OK, let me just memorise these. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. What I'm now going to do is add 1 to this and look now at an odd 
data set. So this now is an odd number of data items. So we had two, we had four, we had five, six, eight, 10, 11, and 12. That's what we had before. I'm now gonna add a next one. So that's going to be 14. Now in this particular case, we've got nine observed, observed values or nine items in our data set. So what I'm going to do is the median. So the median or Q2. Remember, this now is a central measure. We're looking at a measure of location. We want to find now the middle value. So what I'm going to do is take nine, that is the number of data items, and again, divide by two. Often you'll see it's nine plus one divided by two, and so on and so forth. That's a different approach. This is just one way that this, may, this topic may be presented. So we're gonna take nine over two. Now if I do nine over two, that's going to give me 4.5. If I don't get an integer value, I'm simply going to round up now to the next integer. So what I want to do is take the fifth term. So if we take, think about the fifth term, that is the fifth term. The fifth term is going to mean that Q2, or the median, is going to be equal to 8. Now, you can see that by observation. It's quite clear. If you've worked with a small data set before, lower down the score, they'd say, now find the median. You would go and you would do it and just locate the middle. Now in this one, what you would do is locate these two and go halfway between, and you can see with this approach, we can do that. Now this works as well when we're looking at percentiles and deciles, for example, you can use exactly the same approach. So there's our median, which is Q2. Okay, now let's consider the lower quartile, which is going to be Q1. So lower quartile, if we like, Q1, let's say uh, lower quartile. So we're looking now at 25% of data observations happening below the lower quartile. So again, let's take 9. If I divide 9 by 4 this time, that's going to give me 2.25. It's not an integer value, therefore I take the third term. I round up now to the next integer. Now that one's just there, and that's going to give me now that that's 5. So we can say now that Q1... Q1 is going to be equal to 5. So that is the lower quartile. If we now consider the upper quartile, or Q3, so let's think about Q3, this is the upper quartile. What we're going to have then is 3 quarters of 9. So I'm going 3 quarters of the way into the data set. We're looking now at 75% of values being below, 25% being above. So if I do that, I'm going to get 6.75. If you're unsure, just multiply this one by 3. 6.75. Again, it's not an integer value, so I round up and I take now the seventh term. So the seventh term right here, seventh term is going to be this one just here, and that's going to now give me 11. So what I can say is Q3, Q3 is going to be equal to 11. So that is now the upper quarter. So all we wanted, if we wanted the IQR, interquartile range. Remember, the interquartile range gives us now the middle 50% of data. So if you're concerned about, for example, outliers or extreme values in the data set, then this is going to essentially eliminate those. So let's do that. We've got now IQR is equal to upper quartile, which is Q3, minus now the lower quartile, which is Q1, which is going to give us 11 minus 5, which is going to give us 6. So that's what we've done just there. We've simply worked it out on now taking the value. So I've not done the n plus 1. I've simply gone ahead and taken the actual data, the number of data items, and split them. First by 2, then by 4, and then by 4 and times by 3. Or if you like, you've multiplied this by half, you've multiplied by a quarter, you've multiplied by three quarters. This is one half of the way into nine items. This is one quarter of the way into nine items. And this is three quarters of the way into nine items. So there we go. That's a brief intro on how to find the median and quartiles from discrete data. Please don't think this is the only way. It's just one particular approach that you might be shown either by a teacher or in a textbook. Do check if you're doing an exam or you've got a teacher who prefers a particular way which approach they want. Essentially what we're saying here now is to find the median, you simply take the number of data items or the number of observations, divide by two. If it gives an integer value, all we do is consider now the fourth in this particular case and the fifth and we go halfway between. Or if you like, you need the 4.5 term. 4.5 term will give you the value 
The, in this particular case, the median isn't 4.5. It's just taken on the 4.5 term or halfway between the 4th and the 5th. If we want now the lower quartile, we divide the number of data items by 4. That's 1 quarter or the lower quartile. If that gives us an integer value, which it did in this case, we locate the second and the third item in the data set and go halfway between, as we did. For the upper quartile, we go three quarters of the way. If it gives us an integer value, we just consider now the sixth and the seventh term and go halfway in between. Or if you like, it's the 6.5th term. If we now have a look at this one right here, let's go ahead and do this one. We've got now the even values here, and let's look at that one, that's the one we want. We've got the odd values. We've got two, four, five, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, and 14. There are nine. We've divided by two. We've got 4.5. It's not an integer value. If we don't have an integer value, we round up and simply find now the fifth term and the value that corresponds to it. In the same way, a quarter, we round up, three quarters, and we round up. So brief intro to finding now the median and quartiles from discrete data.